All right, YouTube, just a uh, quick video on my Cold Steel Voyager Tanto, Tanto, that, um, you know, these, the Voyager series does not come with a pocket wave feature. So I started looking around online at um, aftermarket stuff, you know, products to, to replace the thumb stud and there's a product called a snaggle tooth which looks very similar to this i actually fabricated this out of a piece of metal that i just had around my house cut it out with an angle grinder and bolted it on with a little machine bolt and nut and a couple things that works out nicely is that because i'm right-handed so i put my homemade um, snaggle tooth thing on on that side of it so that when it goes in my pocket that the tooth thing is on that side that's furthest away from my pocket so that as you draw it now I can flip it open out of my pocket and you know I just I think that the Voyager series would have been a perfect, a perfect knife to have the, the, the Andrew Demko thumb plate on, but they don't come with that because, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's people out there that are like, you know, well, I, I don't want a wave feature on my pocket knife. I don't want it to wave open. You know, I, I love it. I think every pocket knife ever made should have some sort of a catch here so that you can wave it open out of your pocket. Now this is the same knife that I epoxied this side under the, the pocket clip. Because of this aggressive texturing, you could not clip it to your pocket. And if you managed to wrestle it on there, you couldn't get it out of your pocket without yanking and, and just really shredding up the fabric of your, of your pants or shorts. So I just wanted to throw this out there. Now you can buy a product that's just like this, maybe a little prettier that's called a snaggle tooth and it does the same thing it replaces the you take the thumb studs off and it comes with the hardware to just bolt it right on there and then you have your snaggle tooth well I couldn't see paying 13 or 15 dollars for this when I was able to build it out of stuff from around the house now the with the nut being on this side I can still open it with my thumb because it basically replaces the thumb stud. You know, maybe it's not the prettiest thing you've ever seen in your life, but it definitely works. And that, for me, this being my work knife, the function of this is much more important to me than the look of it. Um, so just to show you again, I'm kind of, the camera work is not exactly professional here, but now that I can slide the clip on, thanks to the epoxy here that made that, that surface slick so that now that fabric, and these are actually the same shorts that got shredded by this thing. You can see how that fabric is just terrorized. And that was the first day that I tried to wear this thing to work. So it's in the pocket, and now with my homemade snaggle toothy thing, it flicks open. So now this Voyager is everything I want in a work knife slash tactical self-defense folder. It has the triad lock, which is second to none. It has still a thumb stud, so you can open it with your thumb, just like they did back in the caveman days. And now, thanks to me basically just copying what I saw online, I can wave it open. So, that is now a perfect work slash tactical knife. And, uh, you know, I hope the video helps. If anybody likes the idea, you know, try it yourself. I couldn't be happier. 
I now the one thing I, I had trouble getting it tight enough to where this wouldn't move you know it has to be locked on there so that this cannot just rock back and forth or else it won't do its job so what I ended up doing was this bolt originally was about three inches long this little machine bolt so once I got it on here and threaded through and tightened up by hand I held the nut with some linesman's pliers and I actually took my impact drill and just kind of gave that a few you know brr, brr, to make sure it's really locked on there to where this cannot move and uh, you know it changes the profile a little bit now you have like a shark tooth sticking off of your blade but now you can wave the thing open which is very important to me you know I a lot of times at work when I need a knife I'm holding something with my left hand and then with my right hand I'm reaching for my pocket knife so just to have this this blade deploy as it exits my pocket it just makes so much more sense than to have to pull it out of my pocket and then use your thumb to overcome the, the spring tension and then open it you know it just I think that that the wave thing or the automatic not automatic open but you know the the open assist or whatever I just think that's brilliant and I hope the person that came up with that is a millionaire because I mean it just makes too much sense to not have this on every folding knife on the planet the only time I could see not having such a feature would be if you can't fit it into whatever specific little pocket because this now sticks out of it but I mean it's freaking just amazing I just I am still just amazed by this that I mean holy cow where has that been my whole life so just a little idea that I kind of got from online and uh, looking around at, at you know knife stuff and it just it was driving me crazy that this knife doesn't have the, the the Demco thumb plate it makes no sense to me I just I don't understand why you would buy intentionally manufacture or purchase a pocket knife that doesn't have that and I know you're saying well you bought it well yeah I bought it knowing that I was going to do this you know I, I already planned on doing that so hope uh, hope the video helps and uh, enjoy thank you